जब भी हम हमारी लाइफ में कोई नया चैलेंज फेस करते हैं जहाँ पर सक्सेस के चांसेस कम लगें और फेलियर्स के चांसेस ज़्यादा लगें तो जनरली हमें यही एडवाइस मिलती है कि एक्ट कॉन्फिडेंट बी कॉन्फिडेंट बट वॉट इज़ कॉन्फिडेंस कहाँ से आता है ये कॉन्फिडेंस और कैसे हम खुद में कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्ड कर सकते हैं इन चीज़ों के बारे में मैं इस वीडियो में बात करने वाली हूँ सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल अगर आपको ऐसी वीडियोस अच्छी लगती हैं बिकॉज आई हैव रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड पोस्टिंग वीडियोस ऑन पर्सनालिटी डेवलपमेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो आई एम गोइंग टू कीप दिस वीडियो इन इंग्लिश डेलीबरेटली टू जस्ट इनक्रीज द आउट रीच अमंग माई व्यूअर्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो इफ सम वन आस मी दैट तमन्ना डिफाइन कॉन्फिडेंस आई विल से कॉन्फिडेंस इज अ बिलीफ लाइक for me to say that i am confident it means i have this belief that i am capable i am worthy and i am talented for me calling myself confident is for me to be optimistic because that is how certain i am about my capabilities and being confident is being enthusiastic to face any challenge hashtag no matter what and uh, tackle any obstacle that might come in our way so what decides the level of confidence in a person i'll say that there are three factors number one is our biological makeup our dna something that we have no control over right because we cannot change our dna and that obviously uh, dictates the level of biochemicals in our body number two is the kind of people we surround ourselves with and number three is what this video is on the things we do the choices we make the decisions we take and how we look and face failure so what can we do what are the activities that we can include in our daily lives so that we can become more confident person so that we can become more confident with our choices and we can you know become more confident whenever we are in face to face with any kind of challenge so number one step will be giving ourselves a boost like uh, a homo sapien would rather not take a challenge than put himself or herself in a spot where they might fail just to you know save the idea of their pseudo ego or pseudo confidence whatsoever right so an initial boost is required for the journey to begin for you to take up the challenge so you can do various things like you can uh, just simply close your eyes and you can imagine your success you can imagine yourself standing at the top of a pyramid or what works for me is i listen to hardcore rap like if there is any new challenge that i'm going to be taking in my life there are going to be prior 2 to 3 days of intense hardcore rap because they are filled with i can sentences i will sentences i have sentences which is which i require initially so that i can push myself to accept a challenge and once i have accepted the challenge once you have accepted the challenge number 2 step is to believe in our ability to improve i'm not saying believe in our able believe in our ability because that is confidence but to build confidence you must believe in your ability to improve what does it mean imagine there are two students student a student b both of them are given same challenge right now student a if he fails in this challenge he is going to view this incident as the discovery of a skill that he is bad at so the student will view Uh, at this incidents and at this skill as something that he cannot change like the color of a rice so that is fixed mindset right but then there is student b once he fails he is going to look at this incidents as a discovery of something that he or she cannot do well yet that is important this yet is important that how are you uh, how are you dealing with failures or how are you talking with yourself when there is a setback are you saying this i am not good at it or are you saying it i am not good at it yet because if you are saying that you are not good at it and then you leave it just as it is that is a fixed mindset you are not ready to grow but when you look at a challenge as an opportunity of growth when you look at things that you cannot do as the areas of improvement that is the growth mindset and 
studies have shown that majorly who do very well in life and are successful are the people with growth mindset so once you have uh, once you believe in your ability to improve then you have to be ready to you know practice failure and uh, face failure the reason being there are going to be failures you are going to fail eventually right that is inevitable that is inevitable so how do you, uh, so just understand this the more times you fail the better the response is going to be when you face the failure like if you fail for the first time after taking a challenge that response your response is going to be a little destructive it is going to be filled with self doubt and self loathing right but the only trick is to not give up that is it this is the only trick just don't give up right no matter what challenge you have taken you have failed try again failed try again failed try again failed try again because the more number of times you try the more number of times you have failed the more are the ways you know about that don't work and better and the better you have got at having a constructive response to this failure right so practice failure that is very important and just don't quit so next time whenever you face any kind of challenge realize that it is not going to be easy accept that you are going to make mistakes and be kind to yourself when you make mistakes because there are so many people they only cheer for themselves when they are doing good but it is like watering a plant when it is already raining so you need to be kind to yourself when you make mistakes and when you are not doing good give yourself a pep talk boost yourself up and then show a head on collision with the challenge and don't quit because no matter what the outcome you are going to be left with more understanding and you are going to be left with more growth and that my dear friends is confidence thank you so much goodbye